Hello, just a quick public service announcement. <laughs> um, this is the board out of a Bose Base Module 700, also known as an Acoustamass 300. Uh, two different names, exact same module, and it wouldn't turn on. Um, and uh, I've actually fixed it already. Um, I didn't think it was video worthy, but um, I've, I saw in, in a bit of research um, a lot of people having the same problem with their speakers just one day is dead. Um, and I I found one comment that uh, alluded to uh, the, the service agent replacing a diode, um, but there was no other information about it. Uh, and on probing around, I also found a shorted diode. So the diode in question is right down in here. So this is our mains input. Uh, this is the LED blinks to tell you what's going on, I guess. Uh, it doesn't blink at the moment, but I don't have the rest of the the module to plug in and there's no, so I don't have the on button or whatever it's got, but um, I'm picking that would uh, attach over here. But I now have um, a 5 volt rail, um, a 13, I think a 13 volt rail, um, and, and I've got 1.1 and 3.2 over on the microprocessor, so I'm pretty sure it's, it is fixed. I can't find anything else. Um, that appears to be damaged or so forth, any other bad components. So uh, the diode in question is down in here and I'll take you in for a closer look. And the diode I'm referring to is this one right here, beside the J401 marking. So there's that switching transformer you saw uh, and that little diode there, it was shorted. Now I actually in my troubleshooting I did stick a uh, legged diode on there just to prove a point and it actually didn't work um, and it turns out that I'm pretty sure I was using a bad diode <laughs> I mean it tested okay this is a, um, a shock key uh, diode and it's rated at 2 amps uh, the manufacturer's part number is you can see B2100 um, I've got B2100-13-F uh, is what's on the um, sheet that I ordered it with. So, um, but yeah, same same thing. Uh, two amp capable uh, shock key diode, and that's all it was. I'm wondering if the other diode I use, which actually tested okay, it might not be uh, rated to a high enough current. I don't really know what sort of car I can't imagine it's pulling to it or anywhere near two amps through it but um, anyway that's that and uh, hopefully that helps you figure out your one because nobody uh, I couldn't find any information anywhere or other repair uh, you know, on, on, on repairs of these so there's not a lot being said either that or they don't fail often but there seem to be a few people with with a dead unit so yeah hope that helps you out thanks for watching